commercial clinic in New Jersey. Now, some former patients and their parents say this program goes too far. The children have been abused in the clinic. A Bergen County prosecutor is now investigating. Tonight, in part two of our special report, David Goldstein uncovers some charges about the counselors in this program. A walk on the beach. For many teenagers living near the Jersey Shore, it comes naturally. A way of life, a part of growing up. But for these two brothers, a happy walk has become a painful experience. I couldn't uh, go into like a restaurant or a mall, and for a while I stayed inside the house. I just got too nervous, I was too scared, and I just couldn't take it. I, could, I was like, I'm a freak. You know, that's how I felt when I got out. Like, Kevin Brogan and his brother Sean were chronic drug abusers. For more than six months last year, they lived like this. It's called belt looping. Teenagers holding on to each other so they don't run away. Part of a controversial drug and alcohol abuse program called Kids of Bergen County. Inside, a Channel 2 News hidden camera shows treatment sessions that last hour after hour. A program its creators say is there to help chronic drug abusers. But Kevin and Sean soon found they were part of abusing other kids who disobeyed the rules. We carried them to a five by eight room, like behind everybody. And we sat in this room for, I guess, about nine and a half hours. And the kid didn't get up off the floor the whole time. You know, we just had to sit there and hold this kid on the floor. And, you know, this kid would start crying and screaming and everything. The boy's father finally said enough was enough. He came here to kids and yanked his two children out of the program. And then found that Sean and Kevin were not the same as he knew them before they went in. It was like rescuing them from a prison of war camp. They were just like pieces of raw meat. They, they had no, no guards, no barriers, no coping mechanisms, no defense strategies at all. They were just there. And they were, they were extremely emotional. The boys are now back in a family environment at home, still recovering from their drug addiction, but in a setting that is quite different from life they shared with other teens and kids. There, they were shuttled from what are called guest homes, where they spend the night, to the clinic where they receive treatment during the day. The homes are provided by parents of children and kids. Conditions former patients say were rough. I slept on a, on a hardwood floor with a, with a, with a, a sheet or I think maybe a, a thin blanket. And other former patients have similar memories. To me, it was a prison. Well, I think it's kind of worse than a prison. Because in prisons, even at nighttime, like, they give even the convicts, like, you know, bed to sleep on, you to sleep on the floor. Fifteen-year-old Linda, who wants to remain anonymous, spent only 20 days in the program until her mother pulled her out. Linda and other former patients say treatment sessions are supervised by only a handful of certified counselors. The rest is provided by peer counselors, kids who have just graduated the program. Substance abuse professionals say the use of peer counselors is certainly not unusual, but Bergen County Alcohol and Drug Abuse Coordinator Bob Bedell says the large numbers could cause problems. We do see a danger in um, having a, a young person have the responsibility and authority to be a counselor to, a, uh, to another and that they don't have the maturity or the experience to do this adequately. Kids Clinical Director Dr. Miller Newton has refused to comment about any of the allegations, claiming that children's identities must remain confidential. That was funny though. But former patients who are now getting back to life outside kids are asking why. Why isn't the state of New Jersey taking a stronger hand in regulating the clinic? We'll take a look at that tomorrow. David Goldstein, Channel 2 News.